I know this is going to be coming out late because I'm recording a few episodes in advance because I'm recording the Fort William experiment video, which is going to take ages and stuff. So I'm trying to get ahead of my work schedule. But tonight, I've just watched Liverpool. Yeah, kiss the badge. Lose 3 0 to Barcelona in the semi final. I'm quite a pragmatist when it comes to football. I'm kind of like, you know. It's fine. You know, I, even if Liverpool come second in the league and we get knocked out of the Champions League, I will, this has been an amazing season. Like, record points and all that sort of good stuff. So, And I'm always OK if Liverpool... You know, I'm gutted, but I'm OK if Liverpool get play bad or get beaten by a better side and you're just like, OK. Oh, but it, it was so wasn't a 3-0 game, was it? And to make matters worse, one of the goals was what we all hate in Football Manager, which was, I think it was uh, Fabinho with the slide tackle pass into the striker, which I always rage about in Football Manager. And that that and then it and then the shot hit the crossbar and then it bounced Messi with the tap in. Yeah. A little bit annoyed about Liverpool's game. So I'm coming to record some journeyman to cheer myself up. We've only got a bit of a transfer window going on. About to go on, because it's like three months of nothingness um but the board because we're in like dire financial straits has just put in uh, over half a million pounds into the the old bank account to keep us afloat it's it's just about working greetings and salutations my friends welcome back to the journeyman just one other thing <laughs> I just want to get off. I follow the Red Men TV, a really, really good YouTube channel, right? It's a, obviously a Liverpool fan, tan, Liverpool fan channel. One thing that really annoyed me about their match reaction was there was two blokes sitting there and they were going, um, the first thing they started off talking about was how unlucky we were. I'm not saying we deserve to win, but if you look at all the match stats, if you, the, we had three clear-cut chances, they had three, we had slightly more possession, we had slightly more shots and all that sort of stuff. But I'm not saying we deserve to win or even get draw, but we deserved a goal or two. Like, that. That I think that's fair enough. But So they started off by saying, the video, saying how unlucky we were, we had those great chances, you know, all this sort of stuff. And then proceeded to say, for the rest of the video, how Klopp got it wrong. Like, you can't have those two things. Klopp got it wrong, and therefore we played crap and didn't win. That's fair enough. But the fact you said we're really unlucky, and then he said he got it wrong, was it's just bizarre. It's just bizarre. But, you know, it's an instant reaction. Right, it's out of my system. I, I'm sorry. I know this has nothing to do with the journeyman. I just needed to get it off my chest. I did throw a, a, a uh, dog toy heavily against the door, but luckily it didn't go through it. It was close. Right. It's been going well, my friends. As we said, finances are now, well, they're still pretty terrible. They put 550 grand in and we're still 785 grand in debt. Not ideal. Um, one little bit of good news is that our goalkeeper, uh, Yurchuk, has decided he wants to stay. He doesn't want to leave anymore. We will be letting him go at the end of the season, to be fair. But he, you know, he doesn't know that. Uh, but that's good. He's going to sort of hopefully play a little bit better. I think I, I dropped him. For a few games. And he immediately said he didn't want to leave anymore. Mm -hmm. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, Churik is back from injury as well. Which is really good mo which is really good news. Um, <clears throat> Nazarenko's contract is out at the end of the season. And we are obviously going to miss out on some money from him. But I still think it's, we needed him to help us get promoted this season. And uh, even if we lose him on a free. So after our games here... It was these two, wasn't it? Um, we drew with second in the league, MFK, won all. Uh, who scored for us? Kobach with his first of the season, maybe. I might just made that up. Uh, but then we went on four straight wins. Ingulets, the mighty Ingulets, they had a man sent off early, but Marcos got himself a goal. Kogut and Kodratenko. Policia, we beat him 2 0. Kogut with another goal, and Nazarenko. Lviv. They're a decent side, but we beat them 1-0. Nazarenko with the winner. And then Real Pharmaceuticals, we beat them 3-0. Nazarenko, Chiriuk back from injury. And a, and a rare goal from Jagny. He's a deep line forward, but apparently his first goal in like 15 hours or something. I may have not noticed that he was not scoring. So today we are playing Summy, the draw masters. But they have realised that draws aren't that great. Unfortunately, they have lost a couple of games for them. Uh, but they've stopped drawing. But one thing I did notice... This is just generally, apart from us, an incredible amount of draws in this league. An incredible. There's teams that have 
got half their games drawn, like regular teams that have got more draws than anything else. So it's just a random stat. But we are now seven points clear. We do have the January transfer window coming up. We obviously don't have any money to spend. I might try and look at getting maybe one or two more loanies in from Shakhtar and um, that other big one that I've forgotten because they're, that's what's going to carry us. The big the big problem is going to be big teams coming in for a couple of our good players, uh, which is going to be a little bit annoying. We'll have to hold them off, hold the door, if you will. I've got my Game of, Do Game of Bones t-shirt on. Um, our Armenian wonder kid, Edgar, just got his first cap for the senior squad at the age of 18s. Eight, 18s? He's the age of 18s. Um, so he's going to go on to be a well beat. No, he's not. But, he, you know, for Armenia, he could be absolutely glass. Right. <clears throat> uh, he does need a rest. But do Sheppel's back. He took a knock and he was playing really well. So let's rest him. He's a tired boy. He's only little and he's had to do lots of game edges. Right. So we're playing Sumney, then we're playing Donetsk. So Sumney are still second in the league. So if we can win today, that would be a massive step towards automatic promotion. Um, and I've, who would be playing the other game? I've, t I've already forgotten. There, Olympic Donetsk. They're a mid-table side. So let's get this done, boys. <clears throat> um, our ball-winning midfielder is out. Is he still out? Alexeyevich is dead. Koga. Let's give him another day. Another game off. Chiriuk's going to carry us now. He's back. <clears throat> he has requested a transfer. Um, how much was it for? Mm -mm -mm. million quid where's his contract so his contract does run out at the end of the season does he love us does he love us no he doesn't love anybody <laughs> he just he doesn't love anything no teams no he just doesn't give a shit fair enough but hopefully we can win him over at the end of the season even if we get promoted I think that'd be a really good pick up he is transfer listed by request, so therefore he's un very, very unlikely to sign a new contract unless they just like flash a big wad of cash and a couple of boobies in front of him. <clears throat> right, so we are looking for... So we've got a young 18-year-old goalkeeper. He's done all right since coming in. We're looking for Nazarenko and Marcos, obviously, to carry us to glory today, playing in our lovely deep blue. <clears throat> Let's do it, boys. We need this. We need this one. Because that will give us a nice fruity little lead. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit worried because we're in financial trouble. That teams can come in, put in like shitty offers for our players, and the board will go, "Hmm, money, we accept." <laughs> and I'm like, that that could definitely happen. <clears throat> That's a good ball. That's a good finish. Petro Perevzo with thirteenth goal of the season. That is decent. Is he any good? I bet he's like utterly shit. Uh, I'm telling you though, that Lionel Messi, he's, he's decent. He's decent at football. He apparently the fifth best player in the world. <laughs> right, Shadrook. Shadrook, he's not had much game to what has goal. That is Roman Shadrook, who's like third choice defensive midfielder. As Bosch won in for his first of the season. Marcos with the assist, of course. Get in there, son. That was a beautiful. Let's see it again. So there's Marcos. So he lays it up to Marcos. Marcos is like, go on, make, make a run. Takes a touch to get past the defender. Just hammer blows it. Like Thomas Hitzelsberger. Right. Um, what was I looking at? I want to see if this goal player. That, yeah, he's decent. He's all right. He's all right. Nothing special. My scouts don't really rate him. Two and a half stars, standard. I, as with tradition, I have also scouted the entirety of the Dnipro, original Dnipro team and their youth players and stuff because obviously they have good facilities. And we so we they've got no good players at the moment, but come the uh, re regen day, youth intake day, we might just... You know, have a little wander over to their training ground, which is our training ground, and have a little look. Nazarenko cuts inside. Oh, I've I've, I've actually changed his position slightly as well and the tactic. Because mm. that's why he's like there instead of out on the wing. <clears throat> I've actually... A couple of minor changes. Uh, made him an inside forward. 
and we've taken off. Uh, we keep keep the overlap on, but we've taken off focus play down the right and the left. And the reason, despite I like the idea of playing two strikers and having balls coming in, loves lo loads of balls in my face. Um, but what I was spotting quite a lot of the time was that a player might be here and he might he's. Like, let's say he's here and he's about to take a shot. And rather than take a shot or play it into this guy that's making a run, randomly they just ping it 50 yards out to some dude on the wing here or here or something. And you're like, I know I said play on the wings. Not every time you get the ball, it, it felt a little bit overkill or making stupid decisions to play it out to the wing when you're in a better position just to score. Go on, hit it! Sheppel! Ivan Sheppel with his first goal for the club. Not bad indeed for the youngster on loan from Shakhtar. I'm just gonna think it is. <clears throat> think it's Shakhtar. Oh, Dynamo Kiev, the other big one. <clears throat> and I couldn't see any rules telling me how many loan knees I could have. Marcos, he scored like three or four. Oh, it's Lionel Messi. Eat your heart out. Eat your heart out, Lionel. Have some of that. Marcos Bahia with his sixth goal of the season. I think three free kicks as well. Definitely top corner. Don't watch it. Um, and we've come back. They, they, It's like they poked the bear, didn't they? They had a little goal and we were like, hang on. Hang on. We're the daddies. We're the daddies around here. Don't miss. And it's 4-1. Is that three assists for Marcos that I just see? A goal and three assists. Is that, is that a... Th yeah. Goal... Yeah. I told you he's going to carry us, lads. <laughs> Not Loris carry us. I mean, he's going to carry us. Gratchov disallowed. He's looking glib. <laughs> it's literally his name. He, he, oh, look it up. Right. <laughs> We're going to... Hopefully... Put it to bed. Don't concede again. And we Zook. Go on. Ping it in. And we can maybe take off a couple of important players. Shadrick. No. All right. Lazy. Centre-backs could have gone and got that, couldn't they? But no, nah, no. Nah, too lazy. Our Marcos makes a block. He's the king. The king of kings. Mate, Seth. <coughs> Come on, boys. Nemitnov. Floats one in. Oh, I'm always nervous about those sort of situations. Lumps it as hard as he can forward. Nazarenko ah, tries to nipple it down to himself, but he's lost out. This is a weirdly long highlight. Nemitnov charging forward. Nemitnov, oh, he drifts past one, plays it inside. <laughs> That's a good finish. It's his 14th of the season for the average striker. But Nemitnov, what a run that was. He absolutely was it. Sheppel, he absolutely skinned him without really doing anything by running in a straight line. Look. Oh, skips past him. Lays it off unselfishly. Fair play. They're clinical, aren't they? These summy lots. They desperately want that draw. <clears throat> Let's give him a bit of praise. <clears throat> Nemitnov. Okay, Holo. Holo. Go on, Holo. Holo. We'll call him Holo. Early ball. Chiriuk's there. Chiriuk. Chiriuk. Oh, Samashkin with a solid save. A decent little crowd here. Look, that's not a bad crowd. Admittedly, it's the top of the table clash, but we really need to see people turn up to our games. It's really important for the long-term future of this club that people turn up. Right. Not many of you are going to get to say this in Football Manager, but I'm going to go for a cheeky quadruple sub. Yeah. Because I can. No other reason. <clears throat> Kozlov. Bit of quadruple subbage, lads. A couple of the good youngsters I have got to sign ex uh, longer contracts as well, which is really good. A lot of contracts are running out this summer. It's going to be a massive promotion. Oh! Oh my god! How has that not got in? How is that might be the one of the best defensive things I've ever seen. That might just be missed header completely. Jagney's like, I've got this, lads. Little flicked header, right? 
Goalkeeper makes a good save, but palms it in the wrong direction. Jagney looks like, oh, it's a tap-in. It's an absolute tap-in. Look at that defensive work. What a hero. Gratchoff. Take a bow, son. Oh, that is one of the best things I've ever seen on Football Manager. Where are we? Over here. <clears throat> Taken aback by that. All right, more praise. We are slowly beginning to win the players off. I'll show you the team dynamics in a minute. It's amazing what winning get loads of games does for team dynamics, isn't it? Who'd have thought? It's a good ball, though. It's a good ball. He's looking for his hat trick. Holds it up well. Goes for a little... Keeper's not even moved. <laughs> that could have been a nervy last three minutes if that had gone in. They don't deserve it. We've been absolutely dominant. And somehow they're 4-2. I'm just going to call him Billy. <clears throat> There it is. Massive win. Dominant win. 14 shots on target. Absolutely audacious, my friends. Right. Let me show you the old team dynamics. It's looking good. I don't think, unless it's changed, anybody opposes me anymore. Now, I still don't have a massive amount of support. But we are winning the hearts and minds of the players, which is really good news. Um, come on, game. Come on, game. Imagine how slow this is, right? Because of the leagues I've got loaded. Then times that by three months of winter break. Look at that. 91%, 98 passes as well. 100% shots on target. You could praise him for anything there. What a hero. Are you loving... Have you fallen in love with the team yet, mate? Have you? What about me? No? Okay. Cool. Is that a, that's a team that is what's your history then so he came from brazil went to portugal then went to ukraine got loaned back to portugal then got loaned to in back to ukraine then played for shakhtar last season played pretty average okay so he was only there for one season but he loved his time there which i like that means he might fall in love with the team yeah if we look at dynamics over, look, support is, we are in the green, finally. That I think that's a first, because uh, we've got strong relationships now as well. Uh, the form is great, so they're all loving it. <clears throat> if we look at the hierarchy, we seem to have lost a few, a few, and actually we've gained influential players, haven't we? Randomly, like lots of influential players. Look, none of the leaders like me, but none of them hate me. And I'll take neutral feelings all day long. And a lot of the new guys also like me, which is great news. So we, we're getting there, boys. We're getting there. And as you can see, form is just very nice at the moment. So, right, let's play uh, Donetsk, the Olymp Olympic version. I've decided that the future of this club is to suckle at the teat of Dynamo Kiev and Shakhtar. So I'm basically scouting every possible player that, you know, might eventually not get a new contract. They've got so many good players, and it's the same as, as Dynamo. So that's our plan. We can't buy anybody, so we, we're going to be reliant. And even come next season, even if we get a bit of prize money, we're going to be so much in debt, even with promotion, that, and I don't think there's going to be a giant £100 million TV windfall in Ukraine so we're going to be very reliant on free transfers. And so that's what I'm sort of... We're not going to be able to do much in the January transfer window. So I'm, I'm aiming all my scouting at getting decent amount of players in that we can get on a freebie. That's basically our plan. Right, here we go. The last game before the winter break. It's against mid-table Olympic Donetsk. We are going to spank some ass. Um, good to see Billy. I'm just going to, just going to call him Billy. It's just a lot easier. <clears throat> just uh, good to see Billy performing well. He's an after. He's a really good youngster, nineteen years old. Really good. He's a big. He's not five foot eleven, but he's got a fourteen area reach. Good command of the area handling. Not the best sort of sweeper keeper. Definitely not a sweeper keeper. But we're not really doing that style at the moment anyway. So which is my normal style. So that's good. Uh, Shandrick had a great game. Scored that wonder goal. He, he's quite a terrible footballer. So it's a surprise. Um, maybe we should just leave it with a romanticism that he could be an amazing player and just never pick him again. <laughs> Feels a bit harsh, but life's a bitch, isn't it? Life's a bitch. Right, here we go. 
How's the league looking? What we've clear now? Ten points clear. We're gonna. We can't unless something horrible happens in the January transfer window and we get like picked apart. Vultures picking up a car, picking apart our dead carcass of a football club. That we we should get promotion here. Um, <clears throat> I did have a weird chat with. Um, oh, I always forget his bloody name. Give him the ball so I can remember his name. There it is, Nazarenko. <laughs> Disallowed, but I'll take it, Nazarenko. I've not really had this chat much. He actually came to me and said, I would like to... He already wants to leave because we got relegated. And his, his contract's up at the end of the season. But he came to me and said, boss, um, I want to leave at the end of the season on a free transfer. And my options were to go, yeah, all right. Or I'll... No, I'll look to sell you now. Which seems a bit bizarre. But I said, yeah, you know, yeah, all right. That's cool. And he was very happy with that. So hopefully... Despite him not wanting to be here, he will have a good rest of the season. That's that's the hope, anyway. All right, he's already scored ish an offside goal. All right, muster, great tackle, Zook the right back. I w I will be looking for a right a right back. Um, both our right backs are pretty Ashley Young, so um, <laughs> yeah, that's. On loan, obviously, or somebody I just find in a car park because we're not buying anybody. We've got, we've got disinterested. We've got apprehensive. Let's give them some encouragement. <clears throat> right, Klimenko lumps it forward. He's done well. Pash, Pashish. Whatever the fuck that name is. Muster. Bit of space. Plays it into Kuzuk. Round. Oh, decent effort. Settle down, boys. Come on. Nobody's had a shot on target. Marcus, back post. Boom. Look at the whippage on it. Oh, it's not bad. Good whippage, Marcos. Good whippage. Sign of a good player. Whippage. Okay, half time. Nil, nil. No shots on target. It's like a Jose Mourinho match. I'm going to say it's disappointing. We've stressed out Jagney. Hey, Jags, Jags. Hey, buddy. Hey, lads, lads, look. You've got the ability. There, he is. he's happy. He's happy now. <laughs> Cheered him up. Not seeing any horrific mistakes from Sheppel yet. That obviously is the kiss of death, but he's looking as good as we'd hoped for the youngster. Uh, winners, nice. Marcos into Jagney. Decent. Keeps hold of it. Holo. Hollow. Why do I call it Holo? It's Hollow. We're calling him Hollow. Kogut. Good ball. Nazarenko. Can he find a ball across? Goes back post. Little. Oh, Hollow with a good header. Not a bad effort, sir. Still no shots on target, though. Hey, there we go. Somebody has had a shot on target. Give him the three points. <clears throat> We're going to go for this. I'm not sure that we've had no shots on target. All right. Okay. We're going to go for Kobach for Hollow. Alexeyevich for Nazarenko. Sayenko for Zuk. The old quaddle subage. It's so much freedom. <laughs> if only we had a good bench. It would be so much fun if we had really good players. We're a Man City. Making five subs would be a joy. Or oh, do you think I'll pop on Kevin De Bruyne? Or Sané? <laughs> right, hit it, son. Hit it. This is a proper highlight. Um, I'm in the yellow. Might might have just forgotten for a minute there. Might have just forgotten. Was, I don't know, was that good enough for a highlight? Or are we going to lump it forward and score? Jagney nods it down. Dorenko plays it out. He's just signed a new contract, Dorenko. It's a good ball. It's a great ball. Dorenko straight at the goalkeeper. Marcus. Of course it is, Marcus. Of course it is. It's always him. We New goal in the journeyman. It might not be next club. It might not be two clubs time. But we will one day sign Marcus. Because he's carrying this team on his shoulders. Terrible effort from Dorenko with the, half the goal open, but Marcus does the business to get himself a cheeky little 90 second minute winner. It's what we like to see, sir. <clears throat> nice. How are you guys 
liking the team so far. Just like the general being in Ukraine, this team, you know, this this season I think is fine. And I think we've done what we could. Finances, is, we can't fix the finances because there's money disappearing out of the club. That doesn't. We, I know we don't get the biggest amount of fans turning up, but I feel like the loss we're making. I'll give you. I'll show you an example. Arsenal rescued a late draw, by the way, just in case all the Ars fans out there. I know there's a lot of Ars fans. Um, <clears throat> like if we look at wages, look at the cut we've made to the wages. Basically, almost half to the wages. Um, where's the expenditure? Do we have to pay a lot for the? Match day expensive because the trouble is we've got a big stadium, so that always costs more. Like ground mate, all those things are a lot more because of our size of our ground. <clears throat> I don't think drastic. We're just we're just not making any <laughs> fucking hell. We're just not making any income. So the expenses aren't horrific or abnormal. We are just not making any income. But I think we've done enough. We've done all we can finances wise, and we've still got a good enough team that we're going to go up this season. We've got to go up. I feel like at this point. We're 13 points clear. Um, we've, As I said before, the winter break might be an issue. But I think we've got enough. I think next season is going to be interesting because we won't have any money still. But hopefully we can just gobble up all the rejects from the good teams. Suckle at the teat, as we said earlier. Right, there we go, my friends. We are there for a winter break now. Wish me luck. I'm going to do some Russian fishing four for the next three hours while I hit continue on a game. That'll be fun. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.